Assalamu alaikum, I am Muhammad Abbas. Today our topic is Acacia Nilotica, which is called Gum Arabic Tree, and in Urdu, Kikar Arabic Gum Tree and Bubble Acacia, Black Black Thorns, Egyptian Mimosa, Egyptian Thorns, Prickly Acacia, Prickly Mimosa, Scented Thorn scented pod acacia so these all are most common names of this type of plant acacia nilotica has been widely introduced and cultivated including a part of the indian subcontinent and pakistan where it is not native in the west indies uh, jamaica and Australia, Cyprus, Tanzania, uh, Iraq, Indonesia, Vietnam, Nepal and Iran. It is also planted within uh, its native range such as in Sudan, Egypt, Tanzania and Nigeria principally for the timber and uh, fuel wood, tanning fodder and uh, shed and in the Indian subcontinent for fuel wood and timber, agroforestry and many other uses. So there is a possibility that non-native subspecies have sometimes been introduced. So these all about the history of Acacia nilotica. Now if we look about the risk of introductions of this type of tree so acacia nilotica should not be introduced in a humid and subhumid area or into a dry area where there are adequate supplies of grazing and fuel wood the risk of invasion appears high where there are both good water supplies to promote high speed productions and the presence of domestic life uh, livestock uh, particularly uh, cattle to disperse the seeds the wide scale existing distributions of the species means that there are countries where the risk will be associated with existing introduced populations which should be monitored for the signs of invasive behavior habitat if we study the habitat of this uh, acacia nilotica tree so the initial uh, acacia nilotica tree is a pioneer species that is a relatively fast growing and arid sites so the acacia nilotica leaves and barks are used for protect the fruits are very rich in tannins and are used to tan the skin or as daryl descriptions of the plant if we study the descriptions of the plant so it is a tree of a 10 to 12 meter high so it's a height up to up to 10 to 12 meter high and the top gives a rounded appearance and the leaves are composed and appear in the rainy season the flowers form a small yellow ball at the end of the axis the fruits are gray and whitish pods containing the seeds its pods are gray uh, gray or whitish pods but inside the seeds it's a black seeds Curative actions Dysentery is the major actions If we uh, look uh, at the curative actions of this uh, acacia nilotica tree So the dysentery is the major indications of this species And it is especially the fruits uh, which are a richness of gallic tannin exceeding 200% 200%, 200%. 
which are used in powder form. The fruits of Acacia nilotica and the tannins they contain have the property of destroying the algae that evade the backwater. Similarly, the decoctions of the spread fruit thrown into the water kills the crustacea vectors of a terrible African disease, Bilharziasis. The disease called Bilharziasis. The gallic acid phenolic hydroxyl gallatinin seems to be responsible for these sections. The gallic tannin seems more harmless to fish in water than the saponocytes of the other plants used for the same purpose. Now if we look at uh, the uses of this tree, so Acacia nilotica is the uh, most uh, important uh, medicinal plants uh, to use to for diarrhea and Bilharzia disease. Bilharzia disease is basically uh, the disease found in Africa, uh, I mean uh, South Africa. So the diarrhea disease, uh, for the diarrhea disease, uh, so you should uh, attack uh, take a pinch of the fruit powder without the seeds 5 grams in case of diarrhea uh, rest, rest every hour according to the evolutions of pain while the uses for the bilharzia disease make a, a concentration solutions of tannins in boiling water from the fruits add this water to the marigolds containing the crustaceans that carry the disease so this all information were about the acacia nilotica tree i hope you really enjoyed this video uh, because i heard some most important video about the acacia nilotica so thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my youtube channel for more informative videos about the plants tata bye bye allah is